it finally enables me to go mobile with my LED strips. I want to put them on my backpack, on my sword. Initiating. It is Thursday and in this vlog I will show you how to do this, how to power an LED strip with a power bank. I actually wanted to do this for a very long time, but I struggled. It's funny because it is actually really, really simple, so let me show you how to do this. So what you will need is obviously an LED strip, that's the RGB control box, comes with it usually. And these control boxes, they have this 12 volts input right here. You know, this one. What you also need is a USB cable that you can cut. This strip came with a remote. You obviously also need a power bank. And this thing right here, this is the most important part. This is called a boost converter or step up device. We need to step up the power bank voltage from five volts to 12 volts. And that's where this thing comes in. There is a little screw on here and we need to dial in the voltage. And for that we also need a multimeter, of course. Something to measure, step up device, power bank, strip, USB cable, let's go. So first of all, just cut the USB cable and it will reveal something like this. As you can see here, four cables, the black one and the red one, they are hot and cold. The white and the green one are for the data, so you could cut them. I was a bit lazy. You need to soldier them on the input, of course. As you can see here, in plus minus and here we have out plus and minus. This is how it should look like. Well, it looks a bit ghetto-ish, but you get the idea. Now we can connect the boost converter to our power bank. So let's actually do this. Turn this off. When there is no load on the boost converter, the power bank will deactivate after a short period of time. So don't wonder if there is no current, just you need to reactivate the power bank. Okay, and next up, we need to measure the outgoing voltage. For that, we need this measurement tool and we need volts and you should start at 200 because when I first got this the output was around 60 volts and then you just go out minus and out plus right just like that and it will show you the voltage let me show you on this one so there we go it actually says 12 volts and the power bank already deactivated and now we need to dial in the correct voltage and for this we need well actually you just need your fingernails Go in like so and then you just turn the screw, right? And you need to turn the screw a lot because as I said, they usually cover a wide span of voltage basically. I think I had to give this screw 10 turns or something like that to bring it to a lower region. When you're under 20 volts, you can of course switch to 20. This will give you more exact readings. And when you have dialed in the correct voltage. Again, you just need to turn this thing a lot. So don't be scared to do so. My bad, I forgot about something because you need two small wires. You need to connect the boost converter with the RGB control box. Okay, this will be a pain, but let me actually show you the inside. If you have a 12 volt cable laying around, they usually come with your strip. You could salvage them from the power supply, but it is not necessary to do so. Two small wires, as I said, will do the job just fine. Let's have a look inside this control box. As you can see, there's the input right there, 12 volts and just follow them small cables. They go behind this and I just soldered them to the back side. Next up is obviously a 3D print case, but for now this should do just fine. So yeah, that's the whole project basically. As you can see, RGB is so nice. So yeah, as it turned out, there isn't much to this except a bit of soldiering. So yeah, really easy project and this enables me, it finally enables me to go mobile with my LED strips. I want to put them on my backpack, on my sword, on my armor, which I still need to design. But anyways, there are just so many possibilities. Well, I hope this was helpful. That's it for today and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>